The D man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs> Yo, it's your boy D's Media back again with another video. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel on the road to 100K. Today, we're going to talk about Foodie Your Mom. Did a wonderful interview with uh, Say Cheese. Got to give Say Cheese his credit on that. Um, but one of the things that Sean Cotton asked her was, uh, he, he pretty much said that, um, how do you feel? Do you feel like it was a pay hit? Do you feel like, you know, somebody was behind it and it was a pay hit? And her exact words was, yeah, you know, she felt like, you know, they wanted her son Fulio so bad that, you know, they will put money on his head or they'll go out his way to do a lot of things, you know. Uh, she was trying to watch what she say, you know, you know, she know a little bit more than what she came off about, you know, but you got to understand that's real street stuff. And she can't just hop on no interview and just lay it out. But she gave as much details as she could. Um... She also said that, you know, a lot of these people that Fulio was beefing with, Ace, um, a lot of them dudes, you know, she know their mother. They all grew up together. You got to think. Jacksonville is probably, it's like every city, you know. When you stay there, it's small. Everybody know everybody. But the fact that everybody know in the public and his mom thinks the same thing, it's, it's just kind of common sense, you know. Uh, Fulio was, was targeted. You know, he was targeted and he was ambushed. You know, they didn't give that guy a chance to to get out the car. They didn't do nothing. You can clearly tell that they followed him from the club. And they was at that Holiday Inn when he when he arrived. And that lets you know that it was targeted. You know, um, anybody that's that brazen to do something like that um, at a Holiday Inn around all those cameras uh, right up the street from uh, USF, um, that's brazen and brazen, you know, um, Nowadays, man, we live in 2024, man, where I got to keep it a buck with you. A lot of these shorties uh, are go do something wild, and they don't even got to be for no money. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it's 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 already documented that, you know, the um, the Murphy brothers, um, the Murphy brothers pretty much, um, one of their uh, homies spaz, um, they say, you know, Fulio and them was dissing them, you know? They say... Uh, Fulio and them was dissing him after he at the spaz tragically lost his life. And that's why they say that, you know, the Murphy brothers had their motive. Uh, cause apparently uh one of their close friends, Spaz, had lost their life, and apparently it got connected back to some of Fulio people. And pretty much that's what the fans is trying to say, that you know, a lot of those guys really had personal personal vendetta against Fulio, you know. But um I gotta agree with his moms, man. You know, you can't pinpoint a name on who did it. Of course, everybody going to say Ace because it's kind of looking a little obvious. You know, you got your artist, Gutter Zay, got arrested. You know, um, all of y'all is affiliate of 1200 and ATK. So it's like, you know, they kind of messed up, man. But I, I feel full of your minds, man. I feel like it was an ambush target. And I feel like how brazen they was to do it at their Holiday Inn. I think that was a hit. I think that was a paid hit, you know. Um, they ain't waste no time with Fulio, man. They didn't waste no time. They didn't try to give him a chance to get out the car or nothing. You know, those three guys, man, allegedly, they said it was Sean and the two Murphy brothers, but allegedly, you know, those guys ambushed dude. You know, they, they, they didn't give dude no chance at all, you know? And the one thing that's, that's kind of sad about this whole thing is that when you really look up, it's not going to be worth it for, for nobody. You know, if Ace and them get arrested, it's not worth it. Y'all just threw y'all life away. Fulio, his life is gone. So when you wake up and you realize this years down the line or whatever, you're going to wake up and realize that a lot of some young black men lost their lives for nothing. You know, for for a street, for a sign, for Hilltop, for for ATK, from, from the 6th. Whatever their neighborhood's name is, at the end of the day, when a when a person get to lose in their life and get to have to spend 30, 40 years in prison, it's not worth it. I keep it real with y'all. You know, um, Fulio and Ace, you know, um, what they did musically for Jacksonville, you know, um, they got a they 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 did a lot musically for Jacksonville. But for the 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 other side of it, the street side, I feel like Fulio and Ace made themselves Number one on Jacksonville and the Fed's radar, you know, in Jacksonville. 
Um, with all of this rapping and going back and forth, you know, you still got Ace, you know, making music and, and, and dissing and all of that. Um, that was another thing that she touched on in the, um, in the interview. She said, let him make his music. You know, she said if Fulio was alive, he'd be making his music. He'll be dissing them. If Ace lost his life, Fulio be dissing him. And that's real part about it. That's why I respect her because at the end of the day, you got to be real out here. You know, both, both, both Ace and Fulio played a big part in dissing and in the violence that went on in Jacksonville. So at the end of the day, neither one of them is right. But the fact is, is Ace doing the same thing that Fulio been doing for the last 10, 12 years. That's dissing, you know, talking about deceased people, talking about homies, trying to get under the next person's skin, you know. But at some point, man, it got to stop, man, and people got to grow up, man, and they got to realize, man, that we ain't doing nothing but throwing our lives away, you know. But at the end of the day, you know, a lot of these guys is 19, 20, 24, 25, you know, they ain't really thinking mature yet. You know, it take a while for your mind to develop, to develop and become mature. But when a lot of these guys wake up years down the line, you know, a lot of them going to regret a lot of that decision that they made when they was a little bit younger. And I just hope that it don't come with you getting 45 years in prison or unfortunately like Fulio losing his life. You know, his mom's got to pick up all the pieces and, and continue with her life. You know, she got to handle his business now, his music, a lot of stuff, man. You know, um, funeral arrangements, a lot of stuff she had to handle, you know. A lot of these youngsters out here don't really realize the type of situations you can put your OGs in by just being out in the streets and living reckless, you know. But like I said, man, I got to agree with uh, fully your mom on that. You know, how brazen they was to do it um, at a Holiday Inn. Um, how far they allegedly drove from Jacksonville, three and a half hours to get them. Um, they said they was allegedly watching his IG pages, a lot of stuff, man. So if, if you take all that into, into consideration, man, that sounds like a paid hit. It sounds like they pretty much stalked Fulio down and, and tracked him everywhere he was going. And when they felt like they had a the time to get him, that's unfortunately what they did. You know, and like I said, I just got to agree with his mom on this, man. You know, it's just too many, too many points that just coming out that is looking like a paid hit, you know. But on the second hand of that, four out of five people got caught in Jacksonville. So I don't know how much money that they got. Um, whatever they got, it wasn't life changing. Um, they couldn't leave Jacksonville because if you get caught in Jacksonville a month after, I would basically believe that they went back to Jacksonville right after it. So whatever money that they got or allegedly got, I don't think it was worth it because none of them able to move out of Jacksonville. So at the end of the day, was it worth it? I have to say not, but it's your boy D's Media signing out. Peace, positivity, network, growth. Let's save these kids. The D man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs>